in Geneva, Switzerland, from the 25th until the 27th of February. As the world continues to face numerous challenges that impact on human rights, peace and security and development, the Council presents an opportunity for developing countries, including South Africa, to ensure that human rights and development issues are made central to any future discussions in the United Nations system. Let's, uh, com, uh, let's cross over now to our reporter Mbali Titani, who is covering the session for us. Mbali, over to you. Well, Leanne, we are coming to you live from a very chilly uh, uh, Geneva. But of course, the weather has been very kind to us as soon as we arrived here yesterday. But of course, we are coming to you live from the second largest office of the United Nations. And this is, of course, based here in Geneva. And this is as we attend the Human Rights Council, the 40th session. And the Deputy Minister of International Relations, uh, Minister Landers, has made his way here and he will be uh, doing a number of contributions at today's session. Now, of course, we can't shy away from the fact that this specific country has been in the headlines and this is as they were dealing with the matters of um, the 800 meter, the champion uh, Casta Semenya. And of course, this just took place a few meters away from here, rather a few kilometers away from here. And that happened in uh, Lausanne. And of course, that's where the Court of Arbitration of Sport held those hearings uh, with Casta Semenya. But starting with uh, the day's uh, agenda, we are joined by the Deputy Minister. Now, Minister, we are here in Geneva. We are attending this United Nations Human Rights Council. Why is it so important for South Africa to be part of this session? Well, presently the world is seized with extremism, authoritarianism, uh, rampant nationalism, uh, and even fascism and inevitably these things lead to racism and other serious problems that the world has to uh, contend with and so the role of the UN Human Rights Commission in this regard becomes critical uh, we've used our uh, 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 candidacy in these past few years to deal with many of these issues, including the Casta Semenya issue that you've raised now. And so uh, we believe uh, this body is crucial, crucial and critical to try and resolve many of the world's issues. And how will South Africa, or what role rather, will they be doing in terms of addressing uh, these certain issues which you have um, highlighted? Well, during our term, we have succeeded for example, in uh, persuading the UN Human Rights Council that there is an inextricable link between what we call first, second and third generation rights. Now, what I'm referring to is socio-economic rights, political rights and civil rights. We cannot view each one in isolation. They are interdependent and inextricably linked and we've succeeded in persuading the council to view these together as one. That's the first thing. The second thing is we've also succeeded in putting on the agenda issues of racism and xenophobia and in particular discrimination against members of the LGBTI community. Uh, and this is where the Casta Semenya issue uh, comes to the fore and Durko has played a crucial role together with the Ministry of Sport. Uh, my minister, Minister of Sport, have worked together uh, in cooperation. We've acted as facilitators here and uh, so we're looking forward to the outcome of uh, what happened yesterday and the day before. We have also, during our term of office, sought to persuade the Council that, uh, and we've done this with Ecuador, taken the lead with Ecuador, co-led, that cooperatives, multinational cooperations, uh, have a right to ensure that people's rights in terms of the environment have to be protected, and if they're not, then there have to be consequences. We've also worked to ensure that 
the UN Human Rights Council works closely with us and the African continent as well as the AU uh, in advancing the causes of the countries of the African continent. We've also taken the lead in ensuring that countries such as Palestine, Western Sahara and Cuba stay on the agenda and are addressed consistently every year so that the international community does not forget as Nelson Mandela said to us as long as Palestine is not free you and me we are not free either and so these are just some of the issues that we've sought to address during our term at the UN Human Rights Council now, bringing to the issues from back home, uh, taking into consideration Casta Semenya, we do know that government has come out in full force to come out and support her. What is it that exactly is government trying um, uh, to actually do? And do you feel that this is also a violation of Casta Semenya's human rights? It's undoubtedly a, a, an incredible violation of Casta Semenya's rights. Um, and... Uh, we are encouraged by the enormous support that has been outpouring from back home in South Africa. And so, um, well, for now, we're waiting for the outcome of what took place in the last two or three days here in Geneva. And that will determine what we're going to do after that. And your role, because we do know that South Africa forms part of the few countries from Africa who are part of this session. Um, what has been your role in terms of contributing to addressing the human rights issues in Africa? Well, we work together with what we call the Africa Group here in Geneva, uh, very closely with them. And we ensure at all times that we speak with one voice. And so when an issue arises, it is addressed by the group and we make sure that uh, everyone, uh, that is not only the Africa group here in Geneva, but our principals back home in, in, on the African continent are all on board as to the strategies we undertake whilst we are here. And of course, you will be addressing um, some of the delegates and uh, the ministers who will be here today. What can we expect from your address? Well, as I said uh, right at the outset, uh, our focus is going to be on the challenges faced by multilateralism. And that's going to be the focus of the address today, as well as on the panel later this morning. Thank you very much. Of course, that is the Deputy Minister of International Relations. And of course, he is here at the United Nations in Geneva attending the Human Rights Council. We are expecting him to brief or rather address a number of delegates much later on this morning as the program is expected to kick off at around 9 o'clock. It's back to you. Thanks very much, Mbali. So keeping you updated on that uh, particular event.